So, Andrew, looking at your outlook for Japan, and obviously mm. we've mentioned the recent events in North Korea, we've got a snap general election. What's your output for Japan? What do you think? I mean, there are risks, that we, as we've all just mentioned, but I think broadly it's pre pretty good. If you look at the economy, that's on a sound footing, as we've just uh, mentioned. Um, the policy backdrop is pretty supportive. Um, politics probably is supportive. Obviously, there's an election coming up, and time will tell. Um, valuation, I think, Japan stacks up well in a relative sense compared to other markets. The trends in corporate governance also appear supportive. Um, so, for those sort of key reasons, I think the outlook um, is, is a pretty promising one. Right. Praveen, I know you're positive and you're taking a very long-term view of the companies you invest in, but how about your outlook for Japan considering all these recent events? I think, to be brutally honest with you, I think most developed economies across sort of, uh, you know, the US, uh, you know, across Europe would actually give an arm and a leg to be in the situation that Japan is in. You have, you know, an economy that's the world's third largest. You have pretty high standards of living. You have incredibly long, um, you know, life expectancy ratios um, and generally a very wealthy, harmonious society. Um, and also in terms of, you know, um, the domestic sort of economy, uh, as has been pointed out, we've had, you know, a series of uh, positive GDP uh, readings that's been sort of the longest for a very long time. And, you know, there are a number of underlying trends that are playing out, whether it's through labor shortage or deregulation across a number of sectors. So if you put all of this together, it seems to me that, you know, actually Japan is in quite a nice spot. And one final point I'd like to make is on immigration. Uh, it's quite funny when you look at you know what's been happening across the world where the rest of the world seems to be slowly moving into one direction. Japan is actually moving in the other direction. So you know with all this protectionist noise in the US and even in the UK, the Japanese government recently introduced a visa scheme that would give you a permanent residency in just one year. Um, and that's you know only for specific sectors. Now I I don't know of any country that gives you a permanent residency mm -hmm. after just one year. Right. So that's one way in which they're trying to sort of work around the whole immigration problem. So I think when you put all of it together, you know, it, it, it's quite a good spot that Japan is in at the moment. Yes, and that will definitely be a positive boost for the economy. Definitely, yeah. Nick, yeah. what's your yeah. outlook? I, I would broadly agree. I'm relatively positive on the uh, macro over the next uh, 12 months. I think um, the valuations of the market are quite compelling, so I think the stock market, um, you know, deserves to be revalued up um, somewhat more. Um, I think in, the, in terms of the uh, longer term issues of Japan, we often hear about demographics being an issue and the reason not to own Japanese stocks. But I would just argue that the Japan is a very big economy and it's very, very deep. And there are a lot, there are a lot of um, opportunities for companies, especially in the mid-cap uh, mid, mid area, where they can grow for many, many years, five to ten years in that economy, um, before they become you know, globally, you know, global companies. So there's a, lot, there's a large runway of growth for a lot of, uh, for a lot of uh, mid and small cap companies, and I think it's a, it's a great sector to invest in.